I'm Charles. He's Charles Wade and I'm Grammy. And today we're going to be making apple pie. Don't forget about me. And Annabelle. Annabelle's going to be helping too. And Tugger. So this is fried apple pies that Granny used to make all the time. And when's the last time you made the fried apple pies? Um, I really can't remember. It's been I a really can't remember. It's been a long time. So we're going to record everything and make it so that we can make our own fried apple pies. And then we're going to eat them. Yes. All right. Yes. So we'll get started. Okay, Mr. Charles. Granny Smith, apple pies. Granny Smith. We used to have to go out at the tree that we planted and pull all of these apples and come back into the house and take care of them. And man, did we have some good apples on that tree. But we decided we would build a garage after about 20 years or 40 years, either one that apple produced enough apples. And the apple tree was in the way of the garage, so it had to go. But it was really old, and we were willing to do it. See, if you if you tried to cook this big apple, it would take a long, long time to cook it. So you cut it in little pieces so that it'll cook quick and go into your fried apple pie. That goes another piece if you wash it off, you can have. Now, how much water was that? Uh, <laughs> how much water was that? A smidgen? <laughs> I have no idea, Charles. I have no idea. But back when I was making a lot of the apple pies, I didn't have any uh, a pressure cooker. I had just a regular. I guess it's about two inches in the pan. Uh, in the pan, you can decide how round it is. About two inches in the pan. I cut that on. <laughs> you did the important stuff. Make sure that doesn't blow up. It's, uh, pot. Beautiful pot. Uh, most of that is juice. Because we had, that's why I had just very little water. Now then, what I'm going to do is put my sugar. How much sugar are you putting in? Uh, dab. <laughs> a dab of sugar, huh? A, a dab of sugar. When, when I was growing up, they didn't use measure, uh, measuring cups and stuff like that. They used a, a, a pinch of this and a, a pinch of that. Now, I'll get in my refrigerator and get some... Uh, This is uh, nutmeg. Which apples love. And this is cinnamon. Is it cinnamon or sugar and cinnamon? This is cinnamon and sugar. But the, I, what I got in there is not going to hurt. About that much. <laughs> How much was that? <laughs> uh, that was a half a tablespoon and a, and a tablespoon. Now, do you have that on heat? No. No, that's, uh, that's just the heat from the pressure mm -hmm. cooker then. So that's about like applesauce then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it, it usually chunky, I have it chunky thicker applesauce. than that, but it was... Uh, let's see, I've got... Uh, Sugar, I know how to do it. 
And what did that determine? <laughs> think it need a little sugar? No, I think it's gonna be good. You think it's gonna be yeah. good? Okay. Now, the next thing I do is I go ahead and be getting my pan hot on, or just barely keep it, and I get my flour out. I usually have flour, but I don't have it. Didn't have enough. How much flour was that? Uh, not quite a cup. What you do, this is bacon grease, and you don't tell anybody what you're fixing to do with it. And you only take about that much because you want something to mix with your flour that it might have a little bit of seasoning in it. Secrets. You don't tell anybody that. Don't tell anybody that. See, that makes your flour get together better. If you didn't have bacon grease, what would you use? Lard? Yeah, that's or Crisco. Crisco. Yeah. I put that in there because I'll be sprinkling the table. Annabelle's doing well with that little oh, book. Yeah. She likes it. Charles, it's been so long since I've made these. Charles, push that sleeve up a little bit. That's got it. Thank you. Now, what consistency are you trying to get? Like a well, dough? Just, uh, you, you, you more or less feel of it, uh, and you can tell. Hello, I'm back. What you'll be doing is Wash your hands. I wasn't recording yet. All right, there you go. Okay, you ready? Ooh, scoop. This is a little bit thinner than what I like it, but the apples were juicy. And uh, then you take this, you put it over there like that. Always have to put your fork in a in the flour. This is the part right? I always thought was cool. Anyway. So these are like the apple pies you can get at McDonald's? No. <laughs> these are not like those apple pies at all. And you poke holes in it. Dad, and then... I'm going to have to get you to regulate the pan. I want to touch the You will in just a minute. Is that watch, filming? She's got the spatula. Yeah. <gasps> oh, watch out. Spat spatula. Spaz. You put it right in there. Spaz cheese. Oh. Oh. Right in the floor wouldn't that have been something? Spaz. You're running out of apples. Of apples. <laughs> Thank you. 
them to cook too hot. I mean, too high. Yeah. Them. flour on your table probably. Go up just just a smidge of money. Yeah. Okay. Now, so Pinch you off just a little bitty piece, like about that. Now, you know what happens. Now, don't wad it up until it'll be too big. Take half of that. Okay. Leave it half. Roll it around in your hand. Hold it over the table now. Now, I believe we need the rest of it. Let me let me mix it just a little bit more, okay? And, and then let's drop that one in there. And, and this might be, let's pinch off a little bit like that. Now roll that around in your hands. And all these apples she's getting is going to be hot because it's got on the pan, so be careful with the apples, okay? means that you don't have enough on your rolling pin. And see, so you, you could play with that in your hand and you got all of that flour. And you turn that over, now then roll it. And don't mess too hard. There you go. Good girl. Now turn your dough over again so we can get some out of girl. A little bit more. Now then, turn it this way so you can roll it that way. Good. Okay. Now, what you do is take a little bit of your apples and be careful now, they're hot. And you put it right down here. A little bit more. Okay. okay. Now then. Put your spoon back in your apples and turn your lid over all the way to here. Turn it over. Good girl. Mash it down. Take your fork. Put it in the flour. And mash all the way around it. Only you have to dip it in the flour ever so often. That's okay. And you can dip it right in there, too. Get the top. Uh, you're doing fine. You're doing fine, sweetheart. Dip it in here. Dip it in You're doing good in the in the flour now. And now what comes next? What do you do next? Oh. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> like Why did you make a tiny apple pie in a minute? Because I thought it would be cute. And so here I am making a tiny apple pie. 
Make the little ridges with your fingernail. Use your thumbnail. Or your fingernail, whichever one's easier. Now scoop it up in your hand and show Granny. <laughs> you see what she made? We can um, put some apples in it. Come over here. And, and I need to put it in a hole. It's some holes. Put it. This is hot now. Okay. Just sort of lay it over here. Yeah, but lay it right over here and you can put the cut. Don't touch this. Now, here's the, where's the fork? I don't know. Right here. The here's the fork. Put a hole in it. Okay. Okay, now take this and put it right here. Now, this is hot. Just, just, it'll fall right off either way. It doesn't make any difference. You don't have to pick it up. All right. Tell me how to pass. I'll eat it. Oh. Ow. Your knee. I'm at max capacity. You mean max power? Max power. Ah! Oh. Ow. Mm. How many did you have, Annabelle? I only had one. Did you count them? Oh, Popo's baked apple pies are working. Open that door. Oh, you think they're ready? Granny. Oh, they are. Oh, they're hot. Can we pull them out? I got it. Mm. Watch out, Dad. I think these ones are better than all the other ones. How does it taste, Dominic? Good. These ones look way better. The pan's hot, man. Oh, look at Pawpaw's. Pawpaw's got the baked one. Yeah. Okay, come on. Right. And, yeah. and that's, I'll say. Okay. And that's how you make Granny's fried apple pies. And you're going to say thanks for watching. Everybody. Thanks for watching. Can I, can I say anything? You can say something. And Annabelle's tiny pies. Yes. <laughs>